Uh, you know, I got that. You know, I got work ethic. Being motivated. Flexible. Adaptability. Talent. Even though the scene is still very young, Valorant Esports is on the rise. New talent and veterans from CSGO and Overwatch have continuously made attempts at going pro, although some players have had a better time than others in finding competitive success. At the First Strike event, we had the chance to ask players across various teams what exactly it takes to become a Valorant pro. In this game, there's a lot of CSGO fundamentals and uh, like basic plays you should know and you should, you should be uh, kind of carrying out depending on what's happening and if you're on if you're able to understand that and then apply it to Valorant you can be successful I think that a game like Valorant I think a lot of the Overwatch specific specifically Overwatch players um, they thought that the game with abilities was going to be kind of like Overwatch because it, it, they, they just thought that it was going to be similar but I think that as a Counter-Strike pro um, the theories and the fundamentals that you learn from being a Counter-Strike player directly translates to this game. I think at the, the core, this game is most suited for Counter-Strike players. Um, I think it's it's pretty telling that the majority of pro, you know, pros on top teams right now, I think it's some like 80% of them are all have a Counter-Strike background. So off rip, you know, uh, our lineup all came from CSGO, so our mechanical scale are pretty high for FPS games just in general. And since we have a lot of experience in CSGO, we're very familiar with like the strategies a little bit. And a lot of us played League of Legends, so we're familiar with ability games as well. So when it comes to like just brainstorming, I think we were really good in creating stuff and not following what the others were doing. We were like trying to set them at a, like creating a new comp, uh, creating a new strategy, creating new gimmicks. And other teams, I feel like more followed what others were doing. So they were always a couple steps behind, in my opinion. I think that's why we were dominant at the start. I don't know, like, if I have like a unique skill set. Like, my experience isn't like to any game. I've just played a lot of games. I've never been at a high level in any game. Mechanically, for my role, I think I'm pretty good. Like, as an IGL, like typically when you think of an IGL, you think of someone that is full on strategic, full on support, doesn't really have too much impact fragging wise. But I think like. That's like my one redeeming trait as an IGO. Like I can shoot like most others can, I would say. So like that would be the only thing I like bring to the game apart from my role. And I'm not locked into like that CS mindset where like we have to run this default like this. We have to do this. We have to be really structured. Our team is very loose the way that we play. I think what I bring is definitely just all, all mechanical because my team relies on me. Uh, to entry, um, which is, I like I don't like entering, um, but I'm good at it. Um, I don't like entering because you have to cover you know ten angles when you're walking in, and the defenders have to cover one angle, two angles when when they're defending. So it's like it's just like the odds are so stacked against you. But I'm the best to do that, I think, um, and that's why I do it. And um, I think uh, having a player that uh, you know you're confident in that will open up the site is something that gives you a lot of freedom um, when you're uh, doing anything really. Um, so I think I think that's what I bring. And keeping your teammates accountable, I think is like is the main thing is like, say your teammates are making mistakes or or certain things aren't going right. You you're able to ask questions or, or you could say you're comfortable. You can you got to be comfortable to ask questions to your teammates that may be hard or it may not be nice all the time. It may not sound like you're asking them a friendly question, but you're trying to keep them accountable in a way like the way they're playing and stuff like that. So I think uh, that's one of my best traits. You know, I got work ethic, you know, I'm def uh, talent, um, experience. Uh, you know, you know, those, a combination of those three, you know, that would just take me to the, to the next level that people, you know, don't get to. Honestly, what really it gave me the opportunity to um, pursue professional Valorant. It's unfortunate to say, but it was COVID. Uh, I used to work a full-time 40-hour job, so I didn't really have much time, or much time. I only had, you know, maybe four or five hours a night to really grind the game when I was working full-time. But then COVID hit right as beta was uh, being released. So I got sent home for six full weeks, being able to grind the hell out of the game. And me being the gamer, uh, I would work and play video games, but this meant I could just solely focus on Valorant uh, alone. 
and that really gave me the the chance and opportunity to you know find a team starting off with prospects leading on to big frames and now renegades uh it really is because of covid it's it's unfortunate to say i'm not thanking covid you know it's terrible 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 um event uh, disease that's going on whatever but uh it, it really was because of that that i got to you know focus solely on this game and really grind it out and make it to where i am now this video was made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons a massive thank you to everybody on this list and shout out to Jason, Foxy, Lyra, Mav, Nate, Nathan, Sierra, Sammy, Shampoo, Weeaboo, and Spartacus for being Platinum supporters. And an extra special shout out to Noodles, Marco, and Steven for being Diamond supporters. Thanks a ton everyone. If you also want to support our channel and unlock perks, check out the Patreon link in the description below or join our Discord server. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Nikita and thank you for watching.